Okay. So luckily my character, uh, my character decided to start hitting people. There you go. So I gotta cover the statue in darkness is what it said, and then I can get the spear. I don't really know exactly what that means, but... Yeah, Radiant is awesome here. The problem is that none of my other characters can use Radiant because apparently they have to whisper when they use it. Okay, so the portal now is closed. Can't target undead, that's okay. I do have this thing as well. Item received Shadow Blade. Okay. So now I can start using actual spells. That's kind of neat. We should probably do a big AoE heal. There you go. Everybody gets some health back. I can use Guiding Bolt as well. Good. That suddenly makes her a whole lot more useful. I tried targeting the Black Heart at the start, but I thought I couldn't. But maybe I could have already. Okay. That was not too bad. And then you can finish the job. Okay, I probably should not be using that ability at all. There's no point. I need to get him a second bow first, because otherwise he just does not deal any damage. There we go. Yeah, so Divine Smite and Guiding Bolt look very similar, but they're not quite the same thing. Okay, nice. There's a button over here to press. I don't really feel like doing a long rest right now, but maybe I should, I don't know. There's a lever as well as a button. There's a lot of buttons, actually. A riddle of the night. Alright. Here we go. Yeah, you're like Paladin that much? Oh. Did I do the thing? I just pressed one button. Hello gamers, let's go. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Everybody stand where you are. Gil's gotta do some disarming. Nice. Love that. Good start. Good start. Really, really good stuff. Huge fan of that. Some tentacles suddenly came out of the ground. Normally that is, uh, not a, a problem, but... What Riddle of the Night. The night song. Sorry, what? She said something. What can silence the night song? What can silence the night song? What can silence the night song? Uh. Yeah, uh, anything with silence. Does anybody have anything that says silence? No one stopped me yet. There's a lever over here. Gil, can you stop standing in that shit, dude? Alright. Maybe not then. Is that blood? No, never mind. Oh. Gail? Gil, mate, mate, buddy. 
Um. Be cautious. Save me. <laughs> cannot take much more. I know, Gil. What are you doing right now, bud? You take a little bit more now. Okay. Target can't be restrained. One with the weave. What do you what do you what do you want me to do, mate? Can you just like walk? Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, huh? That's good. Okay, I think what we'll do is just let him take more damage. Excellent. No one back home will ever believe this. Teachings of Lost Oblivion. Swift as my feet can carry me. Scroll of Mirror Image. Scroll of Binding. Teachings of Loss. Lady Shar knows what you bury deep inside your spirit. She knows what pains you and gnaws at your very being. Be open with her. Gail, shut up! Be open with her about your failings. Let her place the soothing hands of oblivion upon your wounds. Let her know you utterly so she can release you from your shackles. Alright, right, Gail's fine. Gail's fine. I mean, ish, sort of. Can we do a maybe a uh, long travel? Alright, fine. He's probably, yeah, he's probably not gonna be too happy, but but it's fine, it's fine. Okay, we'll go to bed, we'll go to camp. I don't know if he's still gonna be stuck. Alright, Gil. Can I continue my puzzle now without you shouting at me? That would be really nice. Thanks, mate. Ay, yeah, yeah. Such a drama queen, isn't he? Um... Teachings of loss. Emptiness is a holy state. One to be pursued and admired. To void oneself of all feeling, all attachment, is to approach the purity of Lady Shar's embrace. We each must struggle in our own way to turn from the temptations of light and life. Remember that all those false comforts will betray you in the end. Only the sacred nothingness will endure. So wait, what did I need to enter? What can silence the night song? What can silence the night song? What if I just don't answer what anything? Can silence the night song. What can silence the night song? Yeah, it has to be a book. Because the icon seems to be a book right over here. Riddle of the Night. Um, I did not pick up every book for once. Normally I pick up all the fucking books. But this time around I didn't. How delicious. This one is impossible to decipher by yourself. Is it really? Hmm. Okay. I will look around then a little bit more. Because I'm assuming it's not going to be the one random book that I happen to find in this room. I mean, we are in a library. I'll have a look around. The closed library section? Only those who have proven themselves worthy to the mistress of the night are invited to look upon her secrets. Four controls adorn these walls. One permits entry. Place yourself at the center of the sanctum. Seek the northwest corner. But be wary, enter here unwelcome and the darkness will be quick to find you. Four controls. I gotta be in the northwest corner. That is this corner somewhere over here but where are the controls oh i already pressed the northwest one on accident that is i already did this puzzle i am a master puzzler man i get lucky that's about the buttons yeah tome of the self same trial 
The final sacrifice of the moon daughter? I don't care. Teachings of loss? I mean... Fuck. That's okay, yeah. Tome of the soft step trial? So I already did all of this, right? All these tomes don't really do me any good. Tome of the feet la- uh, the, the faith leap trial? Your tongue may claim to have complete faith in Lady Shar, but does your heart follow suit? Well, I died a bunch of times, so probably not, no. Be wary. This place is trapped. It's okay. Don't care. Okay. Um, so what exactly did I get? Let me listen to the assignment one more time. Oh, curse to put my hands on it. What can silence the night song? What can silence the night song? Let's see. Is it this? Love is the cruelest of all lies used by Lady Shar's foes. It's a disease, one that can share hearts from a lifetime. Love is arsony, a destructive flame, offering fleeting lights. Extinguish the fires of love, they shall burn with you. Okay. A dense tome written in an elegant script. Outlining the teachings of Shar. Lost teaches us the truth in void, blah blah blah. For that little grief that gets us here, the Dark Lady rewards us with a knight's eternal embrace. The ancient tome, or this ancient tome, advises Sharon initiates how to triumph in a stop. No? What can silence the night song? Only the night singer herself, Shar. Teachings of Lost the Night, that's gotta be it. I mean, that is the most obvious thing ever. It starts with the same thing. I have quick saved. I hope it's good. Okay. I think that was good. We didn't die. Come on, Gail! Wait, what? Gail! Buddy! Come here, man. Fuck's sake, Gil. Okay. Reading OP? <sighs> the Spear of Night. Jark dist- or Jark? Sure. J Jark? One of my favorite this colors. This has to be the Spear of Night. The weapon Lady Sharp bid me to wield. She did, mate. You sold that book to an NPC? <laughs> oh, fuck, that sucks. Alright, uh, magical durability. The wielder has a plus one bonus to saving throws against spells. While obscured, the number you need to roll a critical hit will, while attacking is reduced by one. This effect can stack? Who would be good with that one? I have no idea. I guess she wants to be a dark this, this, this year, so I feel like... As far as the story of the game goes, that would be nice. That looks kind of cool. I've got the half plate as well, but I already have some banger gear on her. While obscured, the wearer has advantage on stealth checks. What does what, what does obscured mean? What what? How does she consider? I can give it to Asterion? I don't think he is proficient with medium gear, is he? No, he's not. I also have the Spear of Night. If Shar allows it, use the Spear to kill Night Song. Oh shit. Okay. I can get him medium armor proficiency at level 8? Oh, okay. Well, that might be something I want to consider then. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. I guess I'll keep this, the the spear of night. Honestly, I'm gonna move all of this junk as well away from him, so we can kind of keep uh, an eye out on what is actually going on here. So you can carry those things. You can carry that. I'm gonna have to do some more backpack clearing here at some point, but. There's a medium armor you can find someone selling that lets you keep all of your dex modifiers. Yeah, but like uh, the current gear I have on Shadowheart is kind of insane. This is a, a banger of, 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 I don't know. Is there any reason to switch this one out? I really like this. When a melee attack hits you, the attacker is sent reeling. All incoming damage is reduced by one. Disadvantage on stealth checks, but that's fine. Attackers can't land critical hits. That's insane. Yeah, the adamantine armor is awesome. He's got it too. I don't see when I would ever be switching this out. So this was on Karlak earlier, but then Karlak is now sitting on the bench, and I switched out to this party. So I moved the gear from Karlak to Shadowheart. But I could definitely move it back. Okay, so I don't quite want to continue onwards with Act 3 yet, obviously. So I'm just gonna go here, but there's a chance that the game will warn me that I can't continue onwards from what I understand, because it would end Act 2. Yeah, I need to get some better shields. I have a shitty shield on her. There we go. I can have another one. Better take a look. I should give Asterion a knife? Well, why does he have only one weapon? Huh? He had another weapon. Did I accidentally unequip it? I'm trying to switch out the other weapon. Why the fuck does it switch out that one? Super annoying. Anyways, I think that was it. I think this might be, um... I think this might be, um, kind of like Act 1, you know, where you can technically go to the under... Or, like, the pass, whatever it's called, the mountain pass. Um, I was gonna say Underdark, but that's not accurate. I think you may be able to, like, skip to the next area if you want to, but... It's not what we should do. Can't give up now. Don't waste a step. Deliver the night mother's mercy upon So let's see. On her enemies. Better not be cursed. Your party is gathered. You are ready. Or so you hope. I don't know. Are you sure you want to proceed depending on your choices? The state of the region could change and some active quests may become unavailable. Okay, no. So I guess basically what we're saying is we don't want to do that yet, right? I can go back here easy peasy. But I've not really explored much yet. Um, there's still a lot of shit that we can do. So we'll go back. I can feel the shadows' power here, but they don't seem to be harming me. Yes. Let's get going. The shadow curse. Doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Hmm. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. I think we're probably she about halfway be. through the game. Yeah, maybe a little bit under. She must do. Yeah, this could be anything. Carried away? Hardly. The proof is right there. Just be grateful someone can handle this place. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. 
Those signs we found about dark justicias. Perhaps they were no coincidence. Mate, we just... I think I was supposed to get this conversation before going into the dungeon. But I switched out to Shadowheart in the dungeon. I think normally you're probably supposed to have her in your party a little bit before this point. But anyways. Um... Yeah, so this this I've got done. Um, I don't really like the storyline of Will, or I don't really care. Something happened with Zephlor and the Tieflings out in the darkness. We found a plaque that claims the Night Song is in the Temple of Shar. We found an amulet. Blah blah blah. So I think what I just need to do right now is just continue exploration. There's a lot of shit that I can do. Who am I romancing in this playthrough? Nobody. Not yet, anyways. I was accidentally romancing uh, Asterion. And then I accidentally romanced Gil for a little bit. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't really mean to... Yeah, I, it, that was, it was an accident. Um... It turns out when you're nice to people in this game, they immediately assume you want to fuck them. That's, that's how it goes, chat. I'm sending mixed signals on accident. Yeah, yeah, that's... You accidentally romance Gale too? Okay, I'm glad it wasn't just me. This game is basically a visual novel now. I should have left when I still could. Okay, cool story. Forget it. It's blocked from behind. Can you uh the door's blocked on the other side? There's no picking that. Okay. Not sure how I'm supposed to get in here, but fair enough. It's like, IRL, it's so easy to romance people. Oh yeah, 100% dude. You, you so much time. Can't slow down. Wasted. There's someone upstairs. Oh jeez. Somebody with a lot of health. Okay, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick guys. I'll be back in a minute. I'll give you guys Lenny though in the meantime. I'll run a uh, an ad break as well. Um There's a door. Let's see what this does. I can't imagine how Astarian must when the time comes Astarian will have his revenge, I'm sure. And I accidentally clicked on you, mate. Served. About that oh. night we spent together. <laughs> Fuck, okay. Well, you know what? We may as well address it. About that night we spent together, Gail. Look, I left you in the middle of the night because you wanted to go further and I was not comfortable with that. But I honestly thought we were just gonna hang out as bros. I'll be honest with you. I think it's perfectly okay for a guy to hang out with another guy and uh, nothing, nothing, yeah, to, to happen. Yeah, for, from there, yeah. I like what, um, who said this earlier. A chicken says, apparently a Larion studio thinks that a man being considerate with another man means they want to smash. This game taught me the, important of to or the importance of toxic masculinity rather than compassion. Yeah, that's what this game is trying to teach me, okay? This, <laughs> this game wants me to be toxic to other men, because otherwise... It must mean you want to smash. And that's that's not what I'm doing. That's not what I'm so I think it's about time we friend zone him. Please. There is little more to be said. I think I already have friend zone him actually. The best thing you and I can do is march on towards whatever awaits us. The end may be close. Time to reap what we have sown. Uh okay. Why don't I want to smash him? It's not really my thing, but I mean, if it's your thing, that's totally fine. Honestly, could not care less. 
Smashing doesn't gain you MMR? Yeah, 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 exactly. Anything that doesn't gain MMR is not worth doing. That's what my mom always says. Lorenz never even played StarCraft before. Okay, I think even I can do this role. I think even I can do this role. Boom, baby! Woo! Let's go! Dude, look at this. Epic gamer moment right here. Alright. What now? I don't know where this leads. Best be on my way. To places. And things. And folding screens. If Loran 1v1'd you, you would cheese the crap out of her. There's this amazing story about some viewer on Twitch. I think I may have told this before on stream, actually, but... There's this great rumor on the, on the StarCraft Street that I've heard multiple times before, and I don't even really know if it's true. But apparently, at some point, Dark decided to stream on Twitch. And Dark is known to be a bit of a cheeky guy. And apparently, a viewer of his paid him $100 to play 1-1 one, one versus 1 against him. Dark 12 pulled him. The game literally was over in a minute and a half. <laughs> I feel like it could definitely be a true story. I don't know if it is a if it is a true story, but Dark, Dark is a bit of a chat. Yeah. Oh. Shadow Heart can go through the door. Oh! Oh, it's open, chat. I see some of you are confused. No, 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 it's perfectly open. I think it's bugged, is what it is. Fantastic. This messy financial ledger records an import tax. Quote unquote import tax? Charged to merchants by the toll house. Okay, the tax was clearly excessive and included gems and jewelry in addition to gold. Can't believe this. Taxes? Taxes? This requiring taxes, is, is, that, is that important? I'll take that. I don't believe it. Taxes that are excessive. That sounds some toxicity to me, dude. Don't, Loco, stop picking up all these paintings. Yeah, throw them on the floor. I think the phases themselves may be worth more money here than anything else, but... Anyways, we can climb down. No, I'm a good boy. I pay all my taxes on time. I report everything properly. I'm a good boy, I promise. I don't know if this is the bookcase that's upstairs that's cursed and just constantly making noise or if this area is supposed to be noisy. There's some shadow root sacks. There's a button. What? It's a little bit buggy here, isn't it? Don't know what's going on. Yeah, I think there's a button above this area that kind of bugs it out a little bit. Potion of invisibility. Okay. Potion, as they say in France. Je m'appelle Potion. Je habite underground. Okay. What an unexciting area. Buggy and weird. My PC didn't want to start up for four hours now? Oh no! That really sucks. Mm. 
There's gotta be something else over here. Yeah. Maybe I need to go here for a quest, though. You never know. Broken computers are the worst, dude. Hope you can figure it out. Computer stress is one of the things that properly uh, frustrates me, yeah. I feel like I'm pretty chill with most things, but... Computer not working? Internet problems? Instantly turn into a baby. Just whine about everything. Does anybody want a rotten banana? Or a lemon? I'll leave it in the chest for you. Okay, so this leads back to the Moonrise Towers. Going on, Gabrielis. Lulu. I, I, yeah, I think motherboard codes are really nice. I don't have a lot of requirements for new motherboards and stuff, but if you have a motherboard that has those little motherboard codes, very, very helpful. I ran into a bunch of issues with my previous computer. And it's quite difficult to actually troubleshoot if you don't, you know, get a display. Highly recommend having those little codes. There's a lot of things that can randomly fix your computer, though. It's always difficult to judge exactly how to go about troubleshooting, but... I'm an AMD boy now. I am, yeah. Is this back in that area that I've already been to? Yeah, I've already murdered everybody here, right? Yeah, the blight, the troubadour. I've already killed everybody. I honestly have no, no, I don't really care about either Intel or, or AMD. I just buy whatever gets me the most value for my money. I find it kind of strange to have, like, an allegiance to Team Red or Team Blue or Team Green or whatever. You're an AMD guy because the internet told you you should be? It flips. Yeah, it very much so flips. AMD was uh, messing around for a while, then Intel was messing around for a while. I think Intel now has sort of come back again after messing around for a good win, but uh... It changes every couple of years. It depends from generation to generation. Intel was becoming overly expensive and then suddenly uh, AMD came out swinging with some banger cards. I think AMD is still considered to be really good, really good right now. I'm happy with my, with my computer, but yeah. What's, uh, what's the current go-to, guys? Do people generally buy more Intel or AMD right now? Like, consumers. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bunch of level nines. Um. This is... tough. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, um... These are Lazel's people? They sure are. I don't know, I've had both Intel as well as, uh, as, well as AMD. And it's always, you know, it's always been fine. Just whatever gives you more, uh... Value, I guess. I don't know how worthwhile this is, but it seems very strong. Probably do not want to jump into that myself, though. 
I don't really like this. So the problem is that I don't really want to leave that circle. Gail, you really need to go ahead and use your big boy attack here. There we go. Do these guys really have that high of a resistance against Frost? No. I guess they're just high level. Don't fight a lot of high level dudes. Your computer is at 57 degrees? Your CPU? I don't actually know where my CPU is at when I play games like this. I haven't looked at it in ages. Hardware info, let's see. How hot do you think my computer is running right now? Um, 74 degrees Celsius, baby. GPU? Where's the GPU at? A little bit hotter, but not much. Computer seems to work fine now. Uh, I have this cool weapon. What? Did it not hit any of you? Ah. That's not great, eh? Oh, it's the height difference? Oh, that I did not realize. Okay, please finish him off. Good. Maybe I can win this fight, despite the fact that these guys are very high level. Misty Step? Nah, that's okay. You can Misty Step. Jeez. A little bouncy bounce is not, not messing around. Eldritch Blast. Okay, counterspell that one. I didn't realize I would just, um... Oh yeah, I did feel, I feel like it's more appropriate. Can we do a little nibble? That'd be nice. There we go. And now we smack him. We just smack him as hard as possible. Yep. Okay. One of my things missed, but that's okay. Can you maybe do a fireball over here? There you go. Certainly. Pretty nice. Go ahead, stand over here. You have a 2070 Super? I should run this game, I would imagine, yeah. Although this game does seem to be quite demanding, though. Awesome. She's a little angry, it seems, but... Maybe we can go over here. Do a little bit of an AoE heal. Nice. Loco bless. Can you reach that guy without stepping in? Yep. Should be good. Ooh, executioner? Ooh! Not bad. Do it again. Okay. Excellent. I'm healing every turn and I'm fucking dealing damage every turn. Damage shot put on these raiders is pretty wild though, man. Level 9 characters. Okay, yeah, counterspell it. Good. Please end your turn. Okay, she does a shove, but it failed. Good. I might go out of the circle though, if I head on over there. It's probably worth. Delicious. We'll kill him. Oh shit, there's still a guy over here too. I'm dumb. Okay. That is definitely easier. For some reason I thought that was... Ah! 
Shadow Heart's on the floor, that's why. Okay, help her up. Do you have any healing by any chance? Any healing potion? Anything? He's got this. That's mind reading. Why is mind reading red? Okay, fine. Just enter turn. Miss. Good. You can activate outlines? Hmm. Maybe I should. Okay. Excellent. Ooh. Ooh. You can cast Mage Hand as a bonus action? What does that mean? The game doesn't tell me. You can cast Mage Hand as a bonus action, but it doesn't say what Mage Hand is. Okay. Uh, please loot it. We have some royal orders as well. We'll take that. Arrow of many targets. Ooh, that plate sells for a ton of money. Can you reach him? Probably not. That's okay. Can you shoot him? You can. Yeah, it's a spell. I don't fancy their chances. Okay, he's almost dead. Kind of a crazy fight, but we managed to get it done. Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. Oh, you can change the rows of spells over here. So if you by default it's locked, but you definitely want to up the amount, because like the amount of skills you have otherwise is horrible. No, no, you definitely wanna increase the number of rows and then like delete a lot of the shit. Because the scrolling really drove me nuts. I've tried to set it up in such a way that like the skills here are all kind of identical for each of the players. I've not done a perfect job there. I probably should spend a little bit more time on that, but... Having, um... At least a little bit of consistency in the interface is real nice. Because by default, it doesn't do a very good job. Time to press ahead. Okay, he's encumbered right now. Good players need two spells. That's true, dude. I only ever use two spells myself. Okay, um, I guess I'll be running back here in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and spend some time in the Mykonid colony. Good players only use Fireball. Fireball and Magic Missile is about 90% of Gil's usage. It's, it's not, it's not incorrect. They should really make it four rows by default, though. Because I feel like there must be a lot of people out there. Oh yeah, my, my most powerful spells are F5 and F8. But there must be a lot of people out there that have absolutely no idea about these buttons. Go to the top. What are you doing right now? Why are you over there, Gil? You're in the wrong... Okay, fine. I'll allow it. Add as wares. A jade. More shit. Add to wares. This is a one handed crossbow. Fucking hell, dude. No, it's heavy. Uh, the <laughs> it's so fucking slow sometimes. An arrow of many targets. Do what I've asked you, stop the interlopers by order of the queen? Okay. You can cast mage hands. So who would benefit from these gloves the most, do you guys think? I don't know what mage hands is.
I can try them out. Gil knows Mage Hand? Oh, it's that spell. Oh, I never used that though. Okay, you can have our rare items here uh, that I might keep at some point. I guess I can maybe send it to the camp. That's easier. Psionic Ward Armor? If the item detects that the wearer is Gith, they have resistances? We don't have a Gith. I could shapeshift, but it doesn't seem worth. Potion of Invisibility. Okay. Send that to Gil. If it's a bonus action, it could be okay. Yeah. Uh, no, these are not wares. These need to be sent on over towards Mr. Gill. These are wares. Boots of Brilliance, also wares. Got a whole bunch of halberds that I'm probably never going to use. These are also wares. These go to Gill. These are all kinds of books that I've got. I guess I can drop those. Good. Okay, these can go to Gil. These can be dropped. This one can be marked as wares. This one can go to Gil. Gil is our mule, in case you're wondering why Gil carries all the shit. Got a lot of stuff over here that I don't plan on ever using. The books don't really ever, like you don't ever really need the books, right? I'm, I'm yeeting a bunch of them on the floor right now. I don't really think there's usually a reason to have those. Why is a wizard the mule? Because he doesn't walk much. Plus he doesn't have to wear, or he doesn't have to uh, carry heavy gear, you know? Maybe he's not the best guy for that, though. You may be right. I don't know. I just I just have all these consumable things that I put on him. I, I don't really know exactly what else I'm going to use it for. I have a cloak over here. Does anybody need a cloak? My dude could use a cloak. You gain seven temporary hit points after casting a spell while in melee? Alright, that's kind of cool. This is my very first item. I guess I'll bring it to the camp. Add those to wares. Add this to wares. Add this to Gil. Okay, all of these can be sent to Gil. Gale mostly just has a lot of very, uh, light items, though. Okay. Let's explore. I have a lot on my mind and, well... Are you really slow now? My yeah, my dude is very slow now, but it's okay. We only have to go around the corner. Wait, no, we have to go north. <laughs> we gotta sell some of our junk. Go ahead, talk to Blurk. Gil was your mule as well, but he was carrying the chest of mundane. <coughs> oh. Perhaps I shouldn't sell should. ingots? I, should get a I have no use for ingots, though. Welcome back. Have you I've never used one, discoveries? other than the adamantite one, but... He's got quite a bit of money. Oh, he's already got all the shit that I sold to him earlier. Aw, he doesn't have enough gold. Here, what if I buy those from you, mate? All of them. I may have sold him some of these items. I could literally sell the Spear of Night. It's kind of funny. What's going on, Mitch? Hello, hello. Okay. Is 
That is quite the flex, dude. Wasting that many lennies like they mean nothing to you. There's not a vendor in this area, by the way. Here's all the heavy gear. Yeah. Oh. Whispering mask. I guess I don't need it. I can go back here and buy it again if I want to. <sighs> yeah, no, the small healing pots don't really do anything for me. I was just hoping it would get some more gold so I could sell some more junk. I know that kind of defeats the purpose, though, of selling him stuff. Uh, wasn't there another vendor here? Yeah. Two more. Hello. We'll be clearing out soon enough. Empty-handed, of course. Okay. Sell the remainder. Gail, you have a lot of shit, dude. Deep Delver? I guess we don't need that. Halbert, don't need. Gloves of Power? Nah. I've got some blue items over here that were once upon a time very good, but... Okay. Potions of greater healing, I'll buy those. Thief's tools, kind of nice to have. Purple worm toxin. Okay. I feel like this guy, or, or some of these guys do sell better gear now. My friend, next time. More careful next time. For certain. Wait, he's a vendor? He's got no money. The bottom half of this smelling bag is mildew and dirt stained? Wow. This guy's name is literally called Bone Cloak. What a guy. Alright. Me too. I don't want to talk to you. Bye. Excellent. Okay. Hey, Andy, what's well, up? Well, 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 if it isn't my favorite streamer. Dude, it's welcome. It's my Friday and four-year anniversary. No better way to celebrate than by watching you. Thank you, man. It's already Friday where you're located, Andy? Thank you so much for the four-year resub. If I could see a round of clappers in the chat. Thank you, Andy, for the support. Welcome back. Tier 2 resub as well. It's very generous of you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Why, why, why is the order changed? It's annoying. What's the Moving in. Uh, we're gonna have to definitely do a little bit of camping. Because I definitely took a lot of damage just now, but... These boots have seen everything. Auto select. Got a lot of camping supplies actually over here. Thought I was gonna run out at some point, but... Okay. The order changes if a character is not selected while teleporting. Ah, I see. What's up, Odium? Hello, hello. I see that was your first ever chat message. No me yet. Um, I need you to go ahead and do this. And then we gotta go ahead and do that. For 10 turns. No, we don't need it right now. Uh, Gil, can you go ahead and give yourself some mage armor? Shadowheart. Do you not have something that you can do? Yeah. Okay. You've been watching my videos for years? With the family? Really? Loco television. Fun for the whole family. Mm. 
The family that watches Loco together stays together? Really? Do you watch, uh... <laughs> do you watch my videos with the family, sis? You just shoot yourself in the in the foot. Your wife's like, oh fuck, who's that? Is that is that Dutch guy again? Ugh. It's Teddy Baldassar again. The family that watches Teddy Baldassar together stays together. Yeah. I picked up a mushroom. Just a mushroom though. Maybe somebody else is gonna need it, you know? Okay, so this is where I had that fight. Did I watch Harstam's rant on French versus NL people? No, I did not. But he was probably right. Oh, damn, you got him, sis. I'm pretty vanilla, to be honest, yeah. <laughs> 